Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate sends in Reaper. I have a track in front of us here. Let's see what it sounds like. Now it's pretty dry, so I want to add some reverb and delay to it. But over here on this last note, on the ending, I want to make it more dramatic and add even more of those effects just on that last note. So we could do that by automating the sends. Let's start off by adding some reverb. And these two tracks right here have effects on them. Their effects returns. This one has a reverb. This one has a delay. So we're going to send from our guitar track to these tracks to create those effects. So I'll drag from our routing and drop it on the reverb. And that creates a send to add reverb to the guitar. Let's adjust it right from here. And we'll find a basic level for it. That's pretty good overall. But again, on that last note, we're going to want to bring it up. Let's do the same thing for our delay. Drag it from here, drop it on a delay effect. And let's get a level for that. As you can hear, it's a quarter note panning delay. It goes from the left to the right and back again. So let's get a basic level for that one too. That feels pretty good. So now to automate it to make it louder on this last note. We'll go to our envelopes and down over here, we can automate our sends. Their volume, their pan, and their mute. We'll start with volume and we'll start with the reverb. Choose this right here and it creates an envelope where we can write some automation for our send level. In this case, for the reverb. To make it easier to hear, let's turn off the delay. So we're just hearing the reverb. So now we want to bring the fader up just on this last note. So we'll switch our mode to right. Open this back up. And here's our level to right. So we'll play it and record some automation. And it wrote that automation. So now if we play it back in write mode, it's going to write on top of it. So we don't want to do that. Instead, let's switch our mode to latch or touch. Now we can hear it in playback. And if we want to tweak it, we could rewrite it by holding that control on the PC or well, command of the Mac turns to a pencil tool. We can just draw a little bit lower or louder. Let's start a little bit later. Now, if you notice, it comes down after the note, but because it's a send, it only needs to send in this section here. Afterwards, we could turn it off. Now, if we didn't want to ride the fader, we could draw it in from scratch. Let's undo that. What we could have done instead, hold on shift to create four points. And just bring this up right here to the level we want. And just like that, we've automated a send. Let's do the same thing for delay. Open this back up and we'll choose this send right here. And right over here is our delay send. 
We'll turn the return back on. And now we want to bring up the delay in the same spot. So we'll change our mode to write. Now if we write just for the send, it's going to erase this one. So we have two different options. We can either switch this to touch mode, or we could leave it in write mode and disarm the reverb. So then we could write just in this envelope, because it's the only envelope that's armed. So adjust this fader. Let's take it out of write mode. It's a bit too loud. Bring it down a bit. That feels better. Now let's say we don't like the delay on this whole section here. We just want it on here. We could do that with mute automation. Let's go back into here and turn on for the quarter note delay. We'll turn on send mute right here. We'll disarm this one. We'll go to write mode. Let's go to the beginning. Open this back up. Mute this so it starts out muted. And then we're going to unmute it just for the last note, right here. And it wrote a mute right here. We could fine tune it right here and here by dragging it over. But we're going to have no delay up until this last note. And just like that, we have a perfect ending with mute automation and volume automation on our sends. So that's pretty much it. That's how we write send automation in Reaper. And this will apply to using sends for anything. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!